A note slid out from underneath my door. It came from the closet. Good evening, everyone, and welcome back to another episode of the Season of Sound podcast, Halloween mini podcast telling ghost stories and some old Irish folk tales. In this episode, we're going on a run and finding out that it isn't only people that you should be wary of when going out that early in the morning. Now, I used to run. I would get up early in the morning before work and run a couple miles. I actually enjoyed running, but like all things, life happened and I haven't been able to go out in quite some time. But when I did go out, though, I always carried a little fold-out pocket knife, just in case. Thankfully, I've never had to use it. But what if I encountered something that was different and the knife wasn't enough what then there's a park I like to run around early in the morning not too early just before sunrise This park is a large rectangle along the main street that cuts through my neighborhood. It's about 1.5 miles to the other end, another mile along the other street, and then back again, and so on. Evergreens cover this park on all sides, and there's a large lake in the center. There are paved paths with some street lamps around the entirety of the lake and a couple shortcuts through the trees. Of course, there's some benches here and there. So one morning, I go to this park and I start my run. Now normally, I run with one of my headsets on and listen to music, but I forgot to charge my headset, so I went without it. As I'm running back, I could hear running in the tune of my own. There are other people that run or bike that early in the morning, but not usually, and I hadn't seen anyone that morning. This felt different for some reason, so I slowed my pace and turned around. I didn't see anyone and continued on with my normal speed, probably a little faster. But the other footsteps kept pace with my own the entire time. This time, I stopped and nothing. The other footsteps stopped too. I started panicking because I knew that I was being followed. So I took off sprinting toward the main street. I could hear the other person running behind me, but they were a good distance behind me. I'm the type of person that to freeze when scared. That's why I don't go to haunted mazes or anything like that. So I could feel that I wasn't running as fast as I should have been. As I got closer to the street, I could feel the other person getting closer too. I was about 100 feet away from the street when I could hear the person slowing and backing off. I ran straight home and never looked back. This experience freaked me out so bad I didn't go back running for another week. I knew that I had to get back there for fitness sake. So I went back and decided to go a little later, after the sun was up and the neighborhood was a little more alive. When I got there, there was more people this time running and biking. However, as I was running, I still couldn't shake the feeling that I was being watched. I don't know if it was just that experience shaking me or if it was real. I came to the same point that I was chased and I noticed that I was alone again. I toughened up through my nerves and continued on. That's when I heard footsteps running towards me. I started panicking but continued on running this time, but they were getting closer. I could hear a male breathing right behind me. Suddenly the sky came into my peripheral view. I screamed and fell to the side. I immediately realized that he wasn't doing anything wrong and started apologizing to him. I apparently freaked him out and tried explaining that I was on edge as he helped me up. He also tried apologizing for freaking me out as I was calming down but I told him it wasn't his fault. Nothing else happened after that. I went home and everything was back to normal.
I was feeling more confident at this point that the chase was a one-time thing, but I wasn't going to take anything for granted. I brought a pocket knife and took it along with me. I still went after sunrise, but better safe than sorry. The run started off normal like always. Then, as I was going through the spot of the chase and that guy, it got really quiet. Not even the birds were chirping. That's when I noticed the footsteps in tune with mine. I wasn't sure if this was another person or not, so I stopped and turned around. That's when I saw him. A man with his hood stood there. I couldn't see his face or anything because of the lighting. We stood there staring at each other for what felt like forever. Then he started sprinting at me. I freaked and started sprinting towards the main street. I don't know if it was the panic or not being used to having a knife with me, but I completely forgot that it was there. So I ran as fast as I could, but I could still hear him gaining on me. I wanted to scream, but all my focus was on just on running. It's dumb, I know, but that's all that I could think about, just getting away from him. I could hear him getting closer and closer. I heard him breathing right behind me. As I was 25 feet away from the street, my lungs were screaming at me. I could feel a, a hand starting to creep on my shoulder. I reached for the last bit of energy I had to get away, and I dashed toward across the street. I nearly got hit twice by the cars umming in both directions. I made it across and fell into the grass. I collected myself and looked back at the park, and, and the man was just standing there, looking at me. I still couldn't see his face, and it didn't look like he was breathing heavy at all. He just stood there, and just like in the movies, a car passed in front of him, and he disappeared. Confused, I lied there, tried not to die, and tried to figure out what I just saw, but I just walked home. To be honest, I didn't know if what I saw was real or not. I told my friend a month later after this incident and she told me that she experienced the same thing. She too was running around the lake and she was chased by a mysterious hooded figure. This was about a year ago. I don't know what is out in the park, but there's definitely something malicious there. Thank you everyone for joining me for this episode of the Season of Sound podcast. If you liked what you heard, give it a like, leave a comment, and click that subscribe button, then ding that notification bell so you know when new content is available. Good night everyone, sweet dreams, and remember to keep that fire burning.